Well, <laughs> this, this poem is actually like, like every time I recite this poem, it's like, it's still me, but like, of like the past, I would say, because this poem was about, it's for my grandfather, and um, it's about like, about that car crash he was in. And I witnessed it all, and I was about six years old, I would say. And just wrote a poem about it, and I titled it, uh, Satan's Concept of the Fourth of July. <laughs> it was a cold night. A cold night with an awkward breeze of cold air that sends electrical currents down my rigid spine. It's like watching electric eels swimming with the roaring waves of the great blue world. A cold breeze that shoots the current towards my abdomen, just slightly below, sparking my soul, causing it to burst into flames, feeling smoke rise up, creating a cloud of sorrow, polluting my lungs with horrid memoirs, launching my heart into the black hole of hell, forming into a cloud of lightning creeping up past my throat, feeling it seep, squeezing its way into the secret chamber that seals my brain. The poisonous memory suffocating my mind, restricting it from expanding, restricting my thoughts from thinking of heaven or paradise. A cold limb slivering breeze that slits my veins, cuts my tendons, forcing my body to tremble and crumble and fall like playing a game of Jenga. That kind of breeze as I sit alone on a porch, motionless, Satan lurking in the shadows with hollow eyes because I was cursed. He decided to let me his, but let me keep my young sexual old heart. My mind started to ache, the poisonous memory suffocating my mind, restricting it from expanding. <sighs> the poisonous cloud consuming my eyeballs. My pupil shot sparks. My pupil shot laser beams aiming at the silhouette of sparks flying and glass breaking, cutting, burning, and scraping my grandfather's face. I saw it all. I saw it all because I was there the whole time. I should have listened to my mother when she told me to wait inside. I sat alone on the porch, motionless. I saw it all. That was one night that fucked up a young child's mind. I saw the vehicle collide into the cable line. His chest set on fire from forgetting to clean off the gasoline. Not putting out the flames, accidentally dropped the lit match on himself. Sparks flew like a great finale on the 4th of July. The brightness of the explosion was like watching 50 artillery shells ignite right in front of your face. The sounds of screaming and crying were like hearing 20,000 whistling bottle rockets go off simultaneously. And the smell, hold oh, a smell. It was nothing like smoke bombs or black cat powder. It was the smell of burning Icarus flesh, the smell of burnt skin, the way the bones were burnt dry, the way the marrows melted hollow. And now every time I write a poem about my grandfather, my pages catch on fire. Yeah. The gasoline choked out of my pen, the way the tip on my utensil sparks every time it touches the paper, and yet no tears in my eyes. And I'll never know why. I'll never know why Satan chose my eyes to replace. Maybe it was because I sat alone on the porch, motionless. My cursed pair of Satan's little puppets rolled back into my head. My pupils projected a horror film off my brain. Watching, just watching. This little clip called Satan's Concept, the 4th of July. Yeah.